In today's mobility training tip, we are going to work on some thoracic rotation. It's also going to help with rotation at the neck. And we're also, while we're doing, we're going to work on extension of the hand, activating our forearm extensors. Because too often, we're gripping things like this, our forearm flexors. And that leads into tightness through here, which impedes our neck and thoracic rotation. So we're going to add this into the movement. So if we're cueing this to engage and cueing that to open, we're going to cue this to open, all that to open, and thus restore more range of motion. Okay? So I like taking this, my fingers in between. I'm, act, I'm not just holding it like I'm actively pushing my fingers like I'm just trying to make this hole bigger. Okay? See? That's relaxed. That's active. That's the goal. That will engage you right here. And if that's engaging, that will be turning off. For most people, your forearm flexors are turned on too much. So I'm here, one hand down, one hand open, and I turn and look towards the open hand. And then I rotate and look towards the open hand on this side. So I flip my hands and I turn and look. And try to make this fluid, don't try to make it too mechanical. You know, so you can go faster or you can go slower, but you're just rotating the joint and you're rotating in that thoracic and cervical spine, okay? You can also switch this up and actually see how it works by looking at the, when the hand is down, and then just play with that a little bit, okay? And again, like always, try to keep your traps turned off. So you should feel that lat, you want that more engaged than up here, okay? That's a common fault for especially grapplers, okay? So again, we can maybe be doing it this way. And maybe just see what works for you, okay? I personally feel more comfortable doing it like this, but it's whatever. So from the other side. You can maybe lower those hands to get more. See, I'm getting more lat activation there. I have a tendency to be too up here. That's too much trap. But if I go lower, I'm more lat. Hey guys, if you're taking great value from this video, could you please go down, like, comment, subscribe, and maybe hit the notification bell? And if you'd like help on creating more movement in your life, conquering your pain, performing better, schedule a free call with me in the description below, and I'll help you form a game plan. Now back to the video. So I would add this exercise in before or after training. You know, it's, um, I also like this when I'm in between like sets on like a upper body lift day, either for pure strength, or more of a bodybuilding day because you're gripping you know, on your exercises. So doing this in between exercises is a good way to keep range of motion, to keep your mobility, and to also work on those extensors because the more you can extend that hand open, then the more strength you can add actually when you close. If your hand's always like this and tight, it's going to be hard to actually get some grip. So if you can create some length on this side, you'll be able to close it better on this side, okay? So guys, as always, stay mobile. And again, I have all those goods in the description below. I hope you all have a good day. I'm going to go play some golf. Peace.